the science fiction adaption of Netflix's most recent series, Three Body Problem, has presented us with a lot to deal with. The Terror, a television series by the Terror season 2 showrunner Alexander Wu and Game of Thrones creators David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, delves into topics ranging from theoretical physics to nanofibers to extraterrestrial civilizations. However, if you haven't watched the entire program and don't want to know what happens, proceed with care as there are huge spoilers for three-body problem ahead. Javan Adipo's character Saul murders her one-night lover while she waits for him to call her a cab in the season finale. After that, Clarence interviews Saul. According to Clarence, Saul was the intended target of the vehicle's hack, which he believes is connected to his passing at the conclusion of episode 7. Without informing Saul where they are headed, Clarence takes him aboard a private plane, and they arrive at the United Nations in New York City. The Wallfacer project had its start here. The Wallfacers are a group of individuals selected to keep defense plans a secret from the Santai aliens by making all of their plans in their brains. To his astonishment, Saul is selected as a third Wallfacer alongside a Chinese commander and a Kurdish combat hero. In denial, Saul tries to step down, but as soon as he exits the unbuilding, he gets shot. When we return to the UK, we discover that Tatiana has received a VR helmet as a present after her home was broken into. A message bearing the Santai slogan, if one of us survives, we all survive, is left with the parcel for her. As everything is going on, Wade, Jin, and a few other scientists are getting ready for the launch of the reconnaissance probe, which will contain Will's brain, at Cape Canaveral, Florida, as part of the staircase program. Though extremely nervous, the initial several explosions that are necessary to send the probe hurtling towards the Santai at light speed go off without a hitch. That is, until the capsule deviates from its intended path due to a broken parachute string on the probe. Jin and the others are devastated that their purpose has not been accomplished. Since episode 5, Augie has been in Mexico, attempting to move on from the events at the Panama Canal. This explains why we haven't seen her in a while. Rather than focusing on profiting from her innovations, she is using her nanofiber technology to filter water in a remote town where a dysentery outbreak is rife. Wade, alone on his private plane, receives a call from the Santai while returning to England from Cape Canaveral. They express regret that the staircase program didn't work out since they still wish to meet Wade and Will. The Santai voice assures him that since he is a capable leader, there will be a spot waiting for him when they get there. They inform him that they will be with him forever and that he will see what they want him to see until the day he dies, in one of the creepiest scenes in the whole series. Wade then sees a vision of himself without sight, followed by the identical countdown that Augie witnessed. As the episode comes to a close, Jin and Saul are drinking in their motel and are extremely upset over the staircase program's failure and the dreadful responsibilities that come with being wallfacers. However, Clarence is adamant that they get in the car and go to a neighboring marsh so they can see the swarming of bugs. He informs the Santai that although they may consider humans to be bugs, if bugs can accomplish one thing, it's survive. The Santai are who? When will they be coming to Earth? Yuenji initially contacts the Santai, the aliens traveling to Earth, from the Chinese military installation in the 1960s. Their planet, four light years distant, is eventually discovered to be doomed by unpredictable weather brought on by the three suns orbiting it. Owing to the great distance they must travel, they are expected to reach Earth in 400 years, or around 2424. It takes four years for sound to reach the aliens and four years to return when he first makes contact. But since they have quicker communication technology, instantaneous communication is now feasible. Safuns, what are they? The Santai have projected that humans will evolve more quickly than any other species based on the histories of each. They believe that humans will have advanced beyond their level by the time the aliens arrive on Earth. Therefore they want to deploy Safuns to attempt and halt human advancements in science and technology. The Santai dispatch two Safuns, which are little computers, to Earth. Nothing on Earth can be kept a secret from the aliens since the Safuns are able to see and hear everything that occurs. They have the power to manipulate reality and what people see and hear, as well as to taint experiments like Viri's study. Yuenji, what happened to him? The scientist who initially established contact with the Santai, Yuenji, and Mike Evans, another devoted supporter, are severed from the group once the Santai discover that humans are capable of lying. When they let her to be taken into custody and questioned by Wade's group, he comes to the realization that they have rejected her and decided she is not significant. After being questioned, Clarence releases her, and she returns to China to visit the location of the military base where she was employed 60 years prior. Tatiana is waiting for her. The aliens sent her to murder her, but he was going to leap from the cliff otherwise, so her demise was predetermined. Identify the Wallfacers. Why did Saul be picked to go with them? In Episode 8, the Wallfacer project is introduced. The only method to keep defense or attack plans secret is for Wallfacers, who are people selected to combat the Santai by creating plans solely in their thoughts. They are not allowed to communicate with anybody, write anything down, or share their ideas in any other manner because the Santai can only read minds. Saul, a Chinese general, and a Kurdish war hero are all selected to be Wallfacers. As long as their use of the resources doesn't contravene international law, the trio will have unrestricted access 
access to them. Even the ungeneral secretary is unable to explain to Saul why he was chosen. All that is known is that the Santai believe he is significant. We won't know the reason behind their belief until season 2 of the show. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.